Hello, it's me, Joel, the director of Waking the Play. Ah, you're wondering why the strange getup. Well, uh, that has to do with some exciting new news we have about Waking the Play. It has come to our attention that the best way to present Waking the Play, a realistic drama about a man with a working memory of seven seconds and the impact this has on his family, is uh, as an interpretive modern dance. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why are you only realizing this now? You knuckleheads, this is obviously the most logical choice for a uh, realistic play about a man with a working memory of seven seconds and the impact this has on his family. Well, uh, it's much to our chagrin that we are only realizing now this is the most logical way to present this piece. Uh, kudos to our audience for figuring this out long before we did, but we're making things right now. And today is a very significant day to announce this information. Of course, because as all of you know, it is Susan Boyle's birthday, uh, which is significant, of course, because Susan Boyle is from Great Britain. Nigel, who is the man with the working memory of seven seconds in the play, who the play is about, uh, is also originally from Great Britain. So, uh, yes, this is a very significant day to tell you that the modern dance interpretation of Waking the Play uh, will be coming to you. Uh, uh, I, of course, and again, we're mentioning this on Susan Boyle's birthday. Uh, so with that said, please keep a lookout for our crowdfunding campaign that's coming at you on April the 4th. Uh, we have got some wonderful prizes lined up. Uh, so I can't wait to get this show on the road, this interpretive modern dance show, of course, as it now is. And again, we apologize for our mistake. So thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you soon.